All right, we'll have uh, more of those details, those uh, top stories at the top of the hour, because for the next 30 minutes, we focus our attention on the business news. And as we do every day, we start the bulletin with either a chart of the day or a number of the day. And when you look at this, 3%, you might be wondering, what on earth is that? Well, I can tell you that Nasperse's shares were down 3% on Monday. But also, if you think that VAT is high, 14% in South Africa, guess what it is in Ghana? 3%, that's it. Reintroduced uh, just two days ago, 3%, that's the VAT rate in Ghana. We maybe need to talk to our finance minister. But actually, the number, the number of the day today, South Africa's gross rate of savings is a shocking 3%. While savings levels of uh, working South Africans are still low at 15%, uh, this is according to Old Mutual Savings and Investment Monitor Survey. The survey shows that people are struggling to save because they are under financial pressure. The low savings rate, 3%, uh, is coupled with lower expected investment returns, and it's not enough for people to settle down with, uh, at, at retirement, which means that South Africans will still experience a drop in their standard of living when they retire. Although some South Africans have been resilient and have made efforts to cut back on expenses and repay debt quickly, Low-income households, however, still spend more on consumption and living expenses. And this is our pathetic savings rate, 3%. But, as we've said, it does come with challenges, so something to watch out for.